Yo, it's your boy Connor 85 and I'm back again on my channel. What's up guys, what's happening? If you're new, make sure you smash that button and subscribe, hit the bell notification and give this video a thumbs up as well guys. And last thing as well, make sure you follow me on my Instagram link just down below. How you guys doing, man? You're doing quite well Thursday, almost Friday, then the weekend off. If you work on weekends, I respect your hustle. Keep working hard as well. So today we've got this beautiful shoe we're gonna speak about, review, talk about resale price, etc. etc. So it's called the Air Jordan 1 High OG prototype. This is due to come out on September the 11th. Obviously, RIP, that's a very special day in our lives as people, you know, uh, with that unfortunate event which happened back in 2001. So yeah, sad times, man. But anyways, on positive vibes. We'll take information from Soul Supply, big ups to them for reaching over a million followers on Instagram. Hopefully, I'll also reach a million subscribers next year. <laughs> we can dream. Hey, but dreams do come true, though. Never underestimate yourself. So, yeah, let me just start screen recording so you guys can see what I'm looking at. So, bam, as you guys can see, they're greeted by that very different Air Jordan 1. It's got a lot of colorways on the shoe, and you can see why they say it's a prototype. So, usually a prototype it's not the final product. It's usually like, especially in the car world, when the same prototype usually will have like, you know, uh, a weird wrap on it just to cover certain parts of the car, while well, the car is getting developed and it's getting tested so they can learn more about the car itself and, you know, finish off the design. So with this shoe as well, as follows the same similar fashion. You've also got the sort of, um, the indentation on the middle part next to the uh, gold, well, beneath, the golden, why am I saying golden? Beneath the uh, the wing sign there, which says Air Jordan with the wings and the ball in the middle. You've also got that indentation as if it's a stitching, which goes from the ankle all the way to the front of the laces there. So that's another part which says it's a prototype as well. And I also think as well, prototype means, um, you know, when you mess with colors, especially in art as well, and you're trying to sort of like, you know, um, you know, work your way towards the finished product. I think with this shoe as well, the fact that it's got so many different colors, you've got that like um, darker blue, then you've got that like UNC baby blue, then you've got that black, then you've got that gray, then you've got the white, then you've got that like, it's almost like a, a blush pink as well. Do you know what I mean? So all these different colors it's as if, you know, someone was saying, okay, let's make an unfinished product and just bring it out. And I think it's such a very brilliant idea because we've seen like um, Virgil with the first 10 with the Jordan 1s, he done a deconstructed look as well. Like if you were to like dissect or, or kind of open up the Jordan 1s, what would you see? And he brought that out and at that time was revolutionary in the sneaker world. And I think it's uh, it's always that like, uh, you know, uh, open thinking, which brings great ideas. So also with this as well, I can see whatever designed this shoe, like what they were trying to do. They're trying to say, okay, let's put many colors, but not too bright colors. These colors go together. At first you're like, hmm, it takes you back. But then the more you observe the shoe, the more you understand like the whole idea behind the shoe. And I really get the idea behind the shoe and I do like this shoe. And dare I say, I will like to purchase this shoe as well. Why? Because I think it's a piece of history, which people may not appreciate as much now, but I think in the future, people will definitely appreciate this as well. So yeah, let's uh, uh, speak about the shoe in more detail. So you've got the, uh, it's not really blush pink. I don't know, it's like, um, it's like a nude color on the toe cap. Then you've also got the toe box that comes in that white as well. So that nude color goes also um, along the laces all the way to the top there. So you get like a black tongue as well. Then on the back top section, You've got that like uh, darker blue. It's that beautiful darker blue. Then you've also got that turquoise slash UNC. I wouldn't say a turquoise. Maybe more like UNC colorway there, which is quite beautiful with the Air Jordan wing logo, which comes in that glossy black as well. So then we'll come to the middle section of the shoe. So you've got that white, which uh, is a trapezium shape, I think. Then you've got the black swoosh as well. One thing I do love about the black swoosh is it's got white stitching on it as well, which reminds me like, you know, when you buy an expensive car and you spec the inside of the car, you get the stitching, you know, in that white. So it reminds me of a Bentley per se, you know, when you get that like quilted stitching on black seats, that is white. That's quite dope. I like that. Then also the, uh, the ankle part as well comes in that black as well with the white stitching as well. Then obviously you've got the indentation 
which is like a stitching basically that we've spoke about already. So it's a beautiful shoe. There's a lot of things that are happening. Would I change the laces? I'm a bit conflicted by that. Maybe I'll probably have pink on one side and then probably have a uh, baby blue on one side. I know it's quite different. It's quite out there, but sometimes you just got to do it. So with these shoes, like they obviously go from um, being like a, a high into being a low which I think is quite a nice thing to have. It gives you more options. But at the same time, I think um, it was a bit rushed because when I look at it there, you can tell like with the blue on top of the shoe that it's, it's, something is happening. So am I quite a fan of that? I think probably not. I prefer this shoe as a high, not a low. As a high, it looks, it looks neat. But as a low, not entirely quite sure. But as I say, like, you know, I see where they're going with this shoe. So I think it's... Uh, it's nice to have options, right? So uh, we'll talk about styling for this shoe. We'll scroll down first, try and, oh, no. I forgot I'm not on sneaker news. I'm, I'm on sole supplier. So yeah, so basically, what can you wear with these shoes? Um, I'd probably just wear like, um, you know, like uh, black joggers or black tracks or bottoms. Then I'd probably wear like a white top or like a blue top as well. Uh, in winter as well, even you can probably just wear like all black, then put them on as well. Uh, there's just so many options you can wear like black jeans you can even wear blue jeans if you want to as well though i think black jeans are more suitable for these guys and um, so resale wise i don't think this will resell well so far i think because the sneaker world is not really that like forward thinking uh, they're not really that open so these will not resell and make that much money they haven't told us if this this shoe is uh, for females or just male or both so that's something to just wait and just uh, look forward to as the day comes closer um yeah um obviously the show on buy straight away i've got quite a, a list that i'm trying to work through um with the first i think being probably the wave runners and the travis scotts and the balenciaga tracks then we'll just work our way down to this as well so um yeah guys that's the end of the video if you got any questions guys as i say don't hesitate to follow me on instagram then we'll talk here all right see you later peace guys god bless i love you bless i love you